The Little Dragon, written and illustrated by Jorge A. Aguilar, read by Ryan Hessler. Far off and away, a little dragon watched as his father protected him from five mean wolves. Get out of here! Papa Dragon yelled at the wolves as he blew fire. <laughs> Leave and never return! When they left, Little Dragon asked Papa Dragon, How are you so brave, Papa Dragon? You're not scared of anything. I am afraid of many more things than you know, Little Dragon, Papa Dragon said. But I am more afraid of what will happen if I do nothing. If we let all the wolves in the world do whatever they want, then this would not be a very happy place to live in. Papa Dragon continued. That's why we have to try, even though we are scared. Little Dragon thought about what his papa had told him. Their way home was filled with thought. Soon after, Fox told Papa Dragon that the wolves went back to their no good ways, and Papa Dragon knew that this was an opportunity for his son. Papa Dragon sent out Little Dragon to really learn the lesson of courage, and Fox made sure to point the way. Little Dragon, Polo asked when they arrived. Why are you here? Where is Papa Dragon? My Papa told me that within the smallest dragon is the force of 100 lions, Little Dragon answered. We are doomed, Chicken said. You don't know what we are up against. Little Dragon walked on, getting more and more terrified as the animals recounted the tale of the wolves' expansion. They are the meanest of mean, Sheep said. They ran us from our fields when we tried to eat. They are the cruelest of cruel, Piggy said. They nipped at our tails when we tried to sleep. They are the worst of worst, Deer said. They tackled us when we tried to play. Little Dragon couldn't help but feel more and more scared as the animals told him about the wolves. It did not take long for Little Dragon and his friends to find the five mean wolves. The five wolves walked up to Little Dragon. It's the scared lizard, one of the wolves said. Are you trying to play hide and seek? I am not afraid of you, Little Dragon said. Leave this place and there won't be any trouble. You found trouble, Little Lizard. Another one of the wolves responded. Little Dragon couldn't speak up. He was too scared, but if he didn't act now, his friends would be hurt. So Little Dragon remembered what Papa Dragon had said. If he could not be brave to protect himself, he would have to be brave to protect his friends. So Little Dragon reached deep inside where his courage was, and he let it out. Fire flew from Little Dragon's mouth. Get out of here, Little Dragon yelled in between bursts. Leave and never return. And the wolves did just that. They ran as fast as their feet would move, not once stopping to look back at the ferocious beast that Little Dragon had become. The animal stood staring at Little Dragon. Little Dragon was not sure what to say or do. Hooray! The animals yelled as they swarmed Little Dragon. Our hero! Long live Little Dragon! Prince of Valley! Little Dragon had handled this situation alone. He hoped that Papa Dragon would be proud. And Little Dragon was right. Papa Dragon was proud. The End For more books by this author, go ahead and check the description. Otherwise, you can follow me on other social media. Until next time.